I'd like to read a few poems from my book, Thigmotropism, uh, with a book uh, that I use the metaphor of the title where vining plants seek out a, a, a structure to climb up. If you, if you plant a pole bean here and you put a pole over on this side, the plant will actually go to where the pole is. And if while the plant is growing, you move the pole in another direction, the plant will turn and go to that pole. One of the experiments that uh, some have attempted and, and it turns out, if you put a pole bean here, plant it, and there's a wall here, and you put a, uh, a pole on the other side, the plant knows that the pole's on the other side some way or another, and it'll go around the wall and up the plant. That seemed to me to be a good metaphor for for people uh, that if you had a, it's happened a dozen times, you have a, a, a young man goes to a football game and a young girl goes to a football game and one sitting on one side of the statement, say, the stadium, and the other is sitting on the other side of the stadium and they look over and see each other and the next thing you know, they're passing out pictures of grandchildren. So how does that force take place? Well, maybe it's the same force as plants. The Thigmotropism, the poem, Lost and Found. Lost and Found. If you look for me, you will find me in the center of dog howls or the needle's eyes or sirens ripping across cities lost, or beside night's face gaunt as strangers stares, and empty hands flung against the sky. If you look for me, consider the wind whispers, haunting each season's hold, a pruning of love's limbs and briar thorns, roses entanglement, the light's sharp pointed rays separating the darkness from each sound. If you find me, you will no longer be able to speak. It's the other side of a hidden universe, the soul of ice, for I dwell where bushes burn, and once found, there is no return. All weightier than love. There are things weightier than love. Take, for example, contrived indifference and justice balanced to throw the gold askew or stopped hands of clocks with no rush madness toward dawn. Tide and howling dogs afraid of hot air balloons. A reckless whisper, frosty white over winter drawn. Even truth, with its little rosy smile and clapping hand, walks on crutches, leaves wheelchair tracks in the snow. Love is no more than a wet spot wakened in some far-off memory, a June bug's leg, scare a scarab happy with its roll. You can carry a whole sack full in your eyes and not hear any bones a poem called Wish. Wish. You need not hold the pale of night against your whisper face, nor trust some wind blowing by to wake the sleeping grass. You need not wish the falling stars out of darkened space, the burning trails wide as love leaves such great emptiness. Rain crow. The rain crow's coo reminds of rain. Shadows dream puddles on the lawn. Sun spills through limbs leaf filled. No wind even whispers are still. Feathers scattered brown and gray swirled where cat death stalked the day. 
the coo mournful, surely not for rain, but a lover who will not again. A poem called You Can. You can. You can follow me any due morning, zigzagging across the lawn and see what I see. The night rubbed like a cat hair backwards till sparks of dawn light the mind like fireflies. You can even think some of the thoughts. I have coffee brown and soaked feet and places shaped like an hourglass. Time's warning. I fill my pockets with shadows and tuck rays of sun under my shirt. It's just a blessing to be walking this way, quiet as a rabbit, slinking like a wolf, waving half the wings of dragonflies. I have been this way since I can remember. I have no argument with silver-backed glass. Hours I've stood knowing better, waiting for wind to play orange trumpets down in the grass.